in royal split news, mm. submitted by cats are greater than dogs. That's true. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't know. I like camels. You gotta find a cat that likes you only. Listen, um, I got cats and I don't know if I agree with this. Aren't they fitches? What? Feline bitch. <laughs> Feline bitch. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm just more of a dog. I don't person. know about is, all cats, but my cat is, he's the best. What I do you call a female so cat? A feline? Oh. Is like all cats? I don't know, because a bitch is a dog. Yeah, why? Yeah. Fitch. The, f the former Malaysian king has divorced his beauty queen wife just weeks after the birth of their son. Because the baby was ugly? It wasn't his. Ooh, drama. <gasps> Tell me the detail. He abdicated the throne to marry this chick. And what? then they get divorced. Like a year later. Maybe he was like, wait, 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 I want to be a king again. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> so he made two stupid decisions. <laughs> then he had a kid. And Three. And then two two oh. months later is when they he filed. Is he trying him. to get the throne back? I think so. He misses the kingship. Yeah. yeah. He's a Malaysian. Malaysian king, mm, so. Malaysian. Did he start buying goats? I didn't <laughs> know they had kings there. That's cool. Yeah, and I didn't know that they had nine royal families that they Rotate who has the throne Ooh. with the with five years. Malaysian Game of Thrones. Yeah. Yeah. Asian Game of Thrones. Martin, write the next one. Game of Thrones of Malaysia. They gotta protect the realm. They have the the Migo Rang party and then the Nazi Lamak party. And <laughs> yeah, so they do five year terms. <laughs> On the throne, and like he. <laughs> it's like on a mandolin. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like gong. Yeah, gong. <laughs> this is the first time that um, a royal or a monarch has stepped down before completing the five years. And they're saying that it was possibly because he married this chick. And so she's from Russia. Russia. Oh, no wonder. Russians yeah. are fucking hot. He's 50 and she's 27. Oh. oh. That's the perfect age. Gee, I wonder why he stepped down from the throne. Oh. Look at his smile. <laughs> you know. Dude, that's like Lord Varys with Cersei. He doesn't look yeah. Malaysian. She is hot. I know, he doesn't look she Malaysian. Looks like yeah. He looks yeah. like a white dude. He, he looks, looks more like a Russian. walrus. Like Kazakh or something, huh? He looks like he plays guitar in an in a indie band. <laughs> like the Grateful Dead? Yeah. He got that Asian head size, though. She looks like she tells fortunes really well. So they actually got secretly married, and then oh, a couple months later, romantic. and then like a couple months later, they uh, they had a big ceremony in Russia. I wonder if any girls grow up wishing that they could marry an old walrus. Oh yes, a, a lot of us. If they're a king, or she could have been a yeah. queen. A queen. But they, but they can't because she's a Russian, right? Well. I, I don't know why exactly, but it's like it seemed like everyone there in like the palace was like, no, she can't be. But if you're a king, can't you change the rules? Well, he's not yeah. the only king. La according to Aladdin, anyone can be sultan. No. Yeah. Now they have like their son. She also con is a converted or to be Muslim. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 Damn, she must have had a really shitty life. She was actually. It seemed based off of her Instagram. No, I want to judge. Please. She had a really good. No. Childhood no. upbringing. Upbringing. Nobody that actually has the life would do this. To marry a king, though, I'd marry a king. It's, it's a business cool. move. They could take care of me. And it's hotter in Malaysia. I just don't like when people become successful. <laughs> so I just want to imagine like she came from a poor beat farming peasant family. Her parents were alcoholics. That's even more successful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. That she becomes a queen? That's no, that's what I'm saying though. Like, like she was story. desperate. Uh, she was desperate oh. to do it. Oh, maybe yeah, then you, she was kidnapped and then she was forced into this life. Oh yeah, that's a good yeah. one. I like that. She was kidnapped. Like not like she was winning yeah. her whole life. No, and then she was like, fuck it. I don't have a college education. I might as well do this. Yeah, well, yeah, this yeah. is what one of her Instagram um, things uh, captions said about her. So she said, my name is Oksana. I was born on- She 10th, looks like an Oksana. I was born on 10th July, 1992 in Astrakhan, Russia. Today is my birthday. I'm 27 years old. I spent my childhood and graduated from school in Tagarong, 
region. As a teen, I went to Oxford Summer School to study English. In 2009, I moved to Moscow and became a student at uh, this Russian University of Economics. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in economics in 2013. In 2015, I won the beauty contest Miss Moscow. Then I created my own swimwear and beach fashion brand. At the same time, I studied at Moscow School of Radio and Television. So that's her background mm. before she met this dude. She had a pretty good life. She had a pretty good life before meeting him and so she said that they met through this mutual jeweler friend. Damn it, it's true love. I can't hide it anymore. I think it's real. Yeah, they met through this like jeweler mutual friend and that she said that when he introduced himself, he's like, hi, I'm king of Malaysia. And then she thought it was a joke. So she was like, haha, I'm the queen of, of Russia. And then like they ended up. What if he thought that was real too? Really? Yeah. And we could be together he then. He found out when the baby was born that she's not really. I know. Good. That's why they divorced. Yeah. I thought we were going to be a power couple, man. <laughs> what the fuck? That's cute. Hi, I'm King Malaysia. Oh, I'm Queen of Moscow. If I was a king, I would never say I'm a king. Yeah, but if you're trying to hit it. Mm, oh, yeah. Hello, oh, I am. If you're trying to hit it, you're putting all Malaysia. your credentials out there. House of blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, Joe, taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. King of yellow cabs. <laughs> the rightful heir to the throne. What do you guys say when people ask what you do for a living? Because I always struggle with clown. That. I used to <laughs> clown. Huh? I used to love making up careers. Oh, what would, would you say? say? That. Like I make those raccoon hats, like and That's all the farmers markets and stuff. Because like when you go to those events and you're an actor or whatever, I just everyone's just so Fuck douchey. Actors. They're yeah. like they just Ooh. expect you to say actor or like musician or whatever, so I would just make up careers. How about seamstress? Uh, I never said seamstress. Oh. I did say like uh, I was a rocket engineer at one point or I was going to school studying physics <laughs> and like I know nothing about the subject so it was just about how much I could bluff. Oh, oh so what if you actually talked to someone who did know about that yeah, subject? Yeah, I was gambling. <laughs> I'll be a I would have just played along. I would just argued with them. <laughs> so funny. No, no, what I was talking about. What's no one asks me what I do. No? People ask you what you do all the time? Well, yeah, because I go to those events. Well, you have to leave your house. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you already meet people that you already know. That's yeah. true. At my house, no one asks me. You go to events that people are What do you do? It depends if I want to talk to the person or not. If I do want to talk to the person, then I'll say, oh, online, and then we talk about that because they're always so curious. But if I don't want to talk to them, then I'm like, oh, I just own a gym. They're like, oh, that's really cool. That sounds interesting, too, though. Yeah. yeah but yeah. usually just stops there, though. Uh, yeah, they don't want to work out. No. Because then they go, oh, really? And they're like, fuck yeah. that shit? Right, exactly. No, I'm going to feel guilty. Exactly. It's exactly that. Yeah, so then it just stops. You just say, like, I own a gym okay. and I'm really preachy about diets. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm vegan. Yeah. Okay. People just want to know if they can use you for something. Yeah. They, or oh, they you're right. You. Yeah. They are so fucking usey. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because usually, like, I'll encounter that at events and that's when I'll be like, okay, I'll say the whole internet thing, whatever. Like, I don't know where to go. What's the whole, what's your, aren't you going to events though with other influencers? Yeah, so that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's yeah, when I'll so say now, that. Oh. But usually, like, if it's like an Uber driver, driver or something and they're asking me and I'm like, oh, I just, I work in entertainment, that's it. That's the I'm perfect really time to lie. Why don't you just have a news anchor? I'm not a good liar. Bitcoin collector. No, you're playing mafia, it's fun. Why don't you no. say you're a news anchor? News anchor? Yeah, because that's you're what you are. You're a news anchor. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not a reporter, guys. There's a difference. You're, you're a journalist. <laughs> you're a journalist. No, that, no, yeah. no, no, that's no, going no. too far. You're editor. <laughs> you're chief of staff for the president. <laughs> that's too far, that's too far. Dude, that's so fun. I want to imagine all these careers. Yeah. Just tell people just, what I am. And then you just yeah. bluff like you are that thing and then people yeah. will believe you and you get to have this whole fabulous life that you made up. <laughs> that's so cool. That's like playing Sims, but like in yeah. real life. And you never talk to them again. So yeah. Never. It doesn't it's, really matter. Yeah. I hate when Ubers try to talk to me. Me too. Yeah. I'm like, shut the fuck up, please. I don't say that. I don't say that either, but like I'm, I'm sitting just there, like, please, I'm they really try to make awesome. conversation. I'm like, I'm just, I just want to get there in like 20 minutes, please. Yeah, you, you know, know most of them have changed now. I think like in earlier Uber days, it was more like that. Talking? I, I mean, I didn't take a ton of Ubers, I don't know, but the, now like just comparing from my past Uber experience to current Uber experience, it seems like a lot more Uber drivers don't spark, or, spark up conversations as much anymore. Not my last trip. Busy. This yeah. old Mexican guy, he played me the album that his friend recorded. <laughs> He's like, hey, you want to listen to um, an album he's my friend promoted. recorded? What if it's his, but he's just like hoping that he gets discovered? I don't know. He was That's like, he's funny. Like, he's like this Mexican dude, and then he was like, you want to listen to it? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, uh, he, and then it was so it was a he's a political rock star, and it's all in Spanish. Oh my god! Like, I don't even know if I look like I speak Spanish. <laughs> but I'm just sitting in the back seat the whole time. It goes what pretty good, think? huh? And I'm like, maybe yeah. you'd be the perfect one to hear it because you're just judging it by the musicality of it and not uh, the actual lyrics. But he's just screaming the whole time. It's like political metal. <laughs> 
political <laughs> metal. It's in Spanish, and it's just like hard guitar okay. shit. So women's rights metal band. What did he explain that it was political? Oh, and he he said it's also he said it's his friend from the '60s. <laughs> so also all the things he's fighting about doesn't matter anymore. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm like I don't know. Oh I'm like, <laughs> like the battle. These battles are over. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. That's so funny. <laughs> You're talking about interracial marriage and shit and how it should be legal? Yeah, and it's all over now. And I'm just sitting there in the back seat, like, God damn it. Like, end the war. End the Vietnam War. Oh my back to God. Santa Clarita. <laughs> it's like, it's, no, it's throwback. It's throwback. It's, I know. It's funny you said, like, lie that you're a Bitcoin collector because one of my last Uber rides to the airport, so it's a long ride. Yeah. yeah. Is Was the guy who uh, was, like, explaining to me how to invest in cryptocurrency. Was he a part of BitConnect? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that gone now? No, that, but like he had like like pamphlets and stuff he gave to me yeah. and like, like oh, take a picture of this and I, so it was like actually yeah, there's pretty informational. But I was like, like cryptocurrencies. Yeah, huh? there's a lot like of pyramid ad- scam Bitcoin yeah. things. Yeah, they're not oh. even. So they try to recruit you into yeah. it. Dude, that um. would be you with being an <laughs> oh, yeah, Uber yeah. driver yeah. recruiting yeah. to your pyramid <laughs> people to my pyramid scheme. <laughs> That's funny. Um, uh, the last Uber driver that took us to the airport uh, was bragging about how his. The last person he drove was a super big celebrity on Instagram, and he was like going all off. And I guess this pic- this guy had all these pictures of cash on his Instagram. He's like, this guy's making so much money with his followers, and he's like showing us. And this guy has like thirty thousand Instagram followers, and he just has like stacks of like money, maybe three. Did you guys show? Did you, like this. But did like, you guys show him yours? And he's like, whoa! No, no. This he, tops the this tops the last one. That's You're what, my new story. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's when we like like to play along when we're like. Holy shit, that guy was in your car? Yeah, you guys What the yeah. fuck? That's crazy! You guys, guys do egg famous people on, that's a... Yeah, we were just like, wow, you got he was sitting right here. Right here in this spot. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so funny. You guys are fucking. We love there. that shit. They like feels us. <laughs> And how did they react? They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I asked him, like, how do you get so many followers? He says he just posts pictures. He says that, like, people just come and, like, like his pictures. And <laughs> he just posts pictures. We gotta go, we gotta go people observe together. Because so I love, fun. yeah, I love that shit. 